has to be said that the most influential person in all of human history was none other than Jesus Christ, who came some 2,000 years ago claiming to be the Son of God. And the only sign of this kind of radical messiahship, saviour of the world, that he was going to be in the grave three days and three nights. And we read in the testimony of the Gospels, people who faithfully, faithfully recorded their experiences of what they did not expect. Someone who was certified dead in the most brutal of ways to be raised back to life three days and three nights later. And faithful Christians around the world at this time in our tradition gather together to celebrate, to commemorate and to proclaim Jesus Christ's death, his life, his resurrection, and the fact that all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to Jesus Christ. So what we do once a year, and this is happening on April the 18th in 2019, this year, is take a small piece of bread, symbolising his broken body. We take a small sip to symbolise his shed blood, and we wash one another's feet in humility, proclaiming the significance of who Jesus Christ is, how we live our lives in service for his glory, living the dynamic that everything we say that everything we do is in the name of Jesus with thanksgiving for the glory of the Father. So this year as we commemorate, as we celebrate, as we renew covenant, may we be unified as the Church of God Seventh Day around the world as one, as one people, with one Lord, with one hope and one faith. So on behalf of the International Ministerial Congress, it is our prayer that this year may be profoundly significant as we proclaim Jesus in community.